Hi, this is Gabe from FloomForever.com. In the last few tutorials, we got Anki and my model deck installed, and we taught ourselves some simple example spelling rules for Hungarian. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to learn simple words using my model deck. Again, let's get set up. So, if you're using the multi-search tool I talked about at the end of the last tutorial, then there isn't much setup to do. Uh, once you've gotten it working, which can take some work depending upon your computer and browser setup, you just need to start it up, type in your word, and hit return. And it will show you as much information as you could possibly want, pictures and example sentences, and pronunciations and other example sentences and dictionary entries. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it, you basically have as much information as you could possibly want about your word. Um, if you're not using this tool, well, honestly, use it. It's a real time saver. But for the purposes of this tutorial, you're going to want a source of images. So you can go just to uh, tinyurl.com slash basic image, just like we used last time. Um, and you're going to want a uh, some recordings, a source of recordings. And so you should go to forvo.com, F-O-R-V-O.com, and, uh, and search for your word there. But... Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the French multi-search tool for Chrome, uh, and I'm, I'll be using Chrome just to switch things up a bit, uh, since we've been using Safari the whole time. Uh, I downloaded this multi-search tool from fluent-forever.com slash multi-search. Um, there's a link in the book to this thing, but you can find it on my website uh, from the gallery page or just typing this in. Um, and in this case, since I'm using a Mac, I'll be using the Apple Script solution, but there are solutions for all sorts of computer setups. It's it's slightly complicated, but once you get it set up, then you never have to get it set up again. So now let's get Anki set up. So open it up, and on the top of that window, I want you to click the Add button, just like we did before. Um, now, first you're going to choose your deck. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use my Hungarian deck, even though I guess we're learning French. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but select the Everything Else deck, in this case, because we're not learning minimal pairs, and choose that. Um, and for type, I want you to change that. I want you to, we're not learning spellings and sounds, we're learning words. So click on this, and select number two, picture words. Unlike the spellings and sound card type that we used last time that had four fields, uh, this one has five. And so let's fill all of these fields out for the word chien, C-H-I-E-N, the French word for dog. And so uh, let's get some information about chien. I'll click on my multi-search thing. If you're not using it, you can just search Google Images and search for it. Uh, but I'm going to search for chien. I'm going to get four tabs full of all sorts of information here. And if I'm using Chrome, in this case uh, I am, the first time Chrome loads a French page, it's going to ask you, this page is in French, do you want to translate it? And I suggest that you do. Uh, not only do, do I suggest that you do, I suggest that you turn on always translate French into English. Uh, while I'm not a fan of memorizing translations, I think it's kind of useful to have them around. Uh, it makes it much easier to find example sentences, even when the sentences use words that I don't yet know, like, like carnivore. Um, anytime you put your mouse over these sentences, you're going to see the original French, and so that's kind of awesome. So I, I like having this setting on. Um, so in this case, I'm going to jump over to the first tab, which is my image tab. And I'm going to find all sorts of, yes, I will translate. Uh, I'm going to so find all sorts of French dogs, and I'll, we'll, I will look around. Uh, in my book, I talk about this game, this Spot the Differences game, and so I'm going to be looking for some dogs that seem kind of French. I'm going to see what, what's different from what I expect to see. And I'll also notice some, if there are any differences in the usage, because remember, these are all French sentences. You know, the dogs and cats can also be allergic. That, that sentence actually is, les chiens et les chats peuvent aussi être allergiques. Uh, so I'm going to see if there are any differences from what I expect to see. Now, this is relatively similar to what I would expect, although I do sort of notice that French dogs are a little more puppy-like than the ones I would expect to see. Um, and so I'm going to choose this little wrinkly puppy for my, for my chien. I will right-click on it. I'm going to click Copy Image. And then I will switch into Anki using Alt-Tab uh, and paste it over here. Command-V. Paste that. Um, now, the next field. The next field deals with gender and personal connection and all this extra stuff. And so 
Uh, in terms of gender, chien is a masculine word. I know this because I looked this up in a dictionary. I know this because it's in my 625 word list. Uh, you can get this from all sorts of sources, but at this point you should be learning gender at the very least if you have a gendered language. Um, you can just write masculine. This is fine. Uh, although if you spend a few minutes skimming through the first chapter of your grammar book, you'll find that they tell you to use uh, an article. Use the or a, uh, translated in English, uh, to indicate whether something is masculine or feminine. In French, if I say un chien, and I use this word un, uh, I know that this word is masculine. And so this is another way of indicating gender, and I kind of prefer this way. Uh, because it has a little less English in it, and I'd like to have as little English as possible in my in my card deck. Um, next, I'm going to press return once or twice and decide upon a personal connection for this dog. And so I'm going to think of a dog in my life that really resembles this sort of French idea of chien, and in my case that would be Maddie for sure. Uh, this is my parents' old dog who is just this tiny four-pound little chien. Um, and so that's all the extra information I want. I've, I've picked up a, a gender and a personal connection. Um, if I'd like, if I think I'm going to have trouble memorizing, remembering that, uh, that chien is masculine, I can use a mnemonic here, and I will just imagine, in this case, I will use a masculine things explode, and I'm just going to imagine this cute little puppy dog exploding into tiny cute little pieces. Okay, she's exploded. Um, and so, great, I'm now taking care of these things. Next step, pronunciation, is much the same as we did last time. I'm going to Alt-Tab into Chrome. I'm going to go to Forvo. I will get these recordings of, of chien. I find that the, in this case, I have four different chiens to choose from. I have two from Switzerland, I have one from Canada, and one from France. Um, I'll choose the French one, the one from France. I mean, they're all in French. Um, but it's actually fine to choose a, a variety of accents for your recordings. Uh, it ends up making you have a more flexible ear in the long run. But in this case, I'll choose French. Uh, I'm using Chrome here, and so, as I said in earlier tutorials, Chrome shows up, all the downloads show up on the bottom left, and so I will pick one up, I will Alt-Tab into Anki, and I will drop it right in that box. Chien. Done. At this point, I am just about done, but there is one last box, and so let's figure out what that does. Um, if I were to hit the Add button right now without changing anything, uh, I would make two flashcards. Let me show you what those look like. Chien. The first card uh, shows me the word chien without any context, without any recordings, without anything. And my job is to think of how to pronounce this word, what it means, and what its gender is. And if I can, I'll remember the personal connection and how to spell it, this sort of stuff. But that's all, that's all bonus stuff. And I talk about this in the gallery of the book um, in terms of what things are important to remember, what things are bonuses, that kind of thing. Um, but this card is relatively straightforward. Chien without context, I have to think, what is this word? Um, the next card is a picture of a dog, of a French dog, and I need to think, well, how do I, what's the name of this thing? And on the back side, it will give me uh, the word, it will say it out loud, it will give me the gender, and it will give me my personal connection. And so this is, this is pretty good so far. This, this will teach me this word. Uh, but there is a third optional card, and you can turn this card on or off. Chien. Uh, this card will show you a picture of a chien, and it will say out loud, chien. It will play that recording, and your job is to spit out the spelling of this word. Um, these cards are extraordinarily helpful in the beginning. Uh, when you're just starting to internalize spelling, they just do wonders, and they do a lot for training your ears to recognize and differentiate new sounds. Uh, particularly if you're not using my pronunciation trainers, if I haven't made them yet, or if I'm not making them for your language, uh, you're going to want these cards for sure. Um, to make them, all you have to do is put something in this box. I mean, I say Y for yes, just because that seems to make sense. Uh, but honestly, if you have anything in this box, it's going to give you that third spelling card. If you have nothing in this box, it will not. And so in this case, uh, I'm, I'm going to make this spelling card, and I will add it. I will click Add, or I will hit Command, Enter, or on a PC, Control, Enter, uh, and it will make this card for me. Um, so that's basically it. Let me um, repeat the whole process again relatively quickly. Uh, I'll learn the word chat, the French word for cat. I will search for chat. I will go to Google Images and see the various uses of chat, and I will find that eh, this is relatively what I would expect, although, I don't know, this chat looks particularly 
dreamy and French, uh, I don't know. Uh, if there's no real difference from what you expect to see and what you do see, then that's something to note too. Um, but this one does look kind of French to me for some reason. Uh, I will paste that here. Um, chat is masculine, and so I'm going to put un chat. In terms of a personal connection, well, frisky was my childhood chat that seems particularly French. Uh, and in terms of pronunciation, I'm going to go to Forvo. I will download, I have a ton of chat possibilities. I will download this one from French. I will drag it into Anki, Command Tab, Drop, Sha, sha and I will add it. I, I'm going to keep the spelling test on. And so I just made six cards. I made three cards for Xia and three cards for Sha, and that is basically it. And that is how you learn simple words in Anki.